safer walking a street late at night in Beijing than I ever would, you know, back home in like Boston or New York or, or any of those cities. For me, I feel very safe in Beijing, I will say that much. Oh, I think it's the safest place I've ever lived. I give Beijing a score of about a nine. And I think the reason for that is just because the low rate of violent crime. It's an eight. <laughs> I don't want to give it a nine or a ten and lose my luck there. From one to ten, compared to every other city in the world, oh, I'm sure it's, you know, above nine. Some of the subway stops, they actually do check you or what you have. They check your water, they check a lot of things, right? But I appreciate that they're actually working there. Like, if you think about back home, like in Russia, when I've been on the subway, there is no that person. Gun control in America, it, it's, it's very scary. Uh, you do see some of the high-end police officers here that you'll notice the gun on like their waist and stuff, but I've never felt a fear of guns here. Someone once asked my mom, like, aren't you scared having, having your son over there in China? Like, aren't you scared that he might not be safe? And her response was, he went back home for a vacation in Las Vegas, and three days into his vacation was down the street from one of the worst mass shootings in American history. I think if you're like an adult and raising a family and walking down the street at a reasonable time of night, there's nothing to ever worry about. A 16-year-old girl walking down a dark street, and you'll be 100% safe. So in China, it doesn't matter if I go out at 10 in the evening or 2 o'clock or 5 in the morning, I feel safe. And Beijing is now, I think, my favorite city. Like, I feel home here. Yeah.